What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Gage, GB Resale King, YouTube and Poshmark 50 Shades of Gage on eBay. It's a beautiful Thursday afternoon and I'm just going to give you a review on some Timu diamond paintings I've got. If you see over my shoulder, this one is Amazon and this, this one is Amazon. And I like those ones too. And uh, so I just was on e Timu and seeing that there were like three dollars three ninety eight or something a piece so I ordered a couple and I think they're pretty good so I'm gonna go ahead and give you guys a shot of uh, the one I got about done and I'll also show you the one that's still in the package and uh, if you could do the YouTube things for me hit that like button leave a comment subscribe and share to your friends all right go ahead and give you a shot of the diamond painting thanks all right so this is the one that I almost got finished it's a Nissan GTR. It's the new one. And it's got this nice skyline behind it. it. Must be Japan. But the um the stickiness is nice and sticky. It didn't come all wrinkled up. It came with a clear covering. The uh the symbols are nice and easy to read and I have the DMC number on the right side. It's all letters. There's no confusing symbols or tiny symbols hard to read. So you can see there's, those are V's. Um, I got, that's pretty, one of the only numbers I got left. I'm working on G's right now. There's G's in here. Those are the, right here you can see. I don't know if it'll pick it up, but there's two G's there and the rest are O's. So those were the hardest ones to just distinguish from each other. But the G's are a little bit darker and the O's are brighter. Um, the diamonds themselves are all pretty good. There's Here's one, it's got too much flash on it. I mean, there's a couple that have like the flash on it, but not that many. And it's easy enough to tell when you put them into the thing. I'll go ahead and do a couple, see if I can do it through here. So overall, I really like uh, the ones I got. I'll show you the other one here. I know some people don't like to order from overseas because a lot of them are unlicensed and they don't pay the artists. But I picked diamond paintings that weren't done by a certain artist. And I kind of have find it hard to pay like $60 for a diamond dots or the really expensive ones. Because this for $4 free shipping. I mean, it looks great. The other one I got hard to do this for the one here. another full drill this is a guy called chainsaw man he's a anime character from a 
really cool Japanese animation. So those are the two. It's got lot this is all color blocking all in here. All in here is all color blocking. There's no potpourri mixed in. I don't know if you'll be able to tell when I finish it. You can kind of see it here. Spells chain, saw, man. So I'm not sure if you'll be able to tell that when I'm done, but it looks kind of cool there. It doesn't look super pixelated. Seems to have good definition for the size. It's only a 30 by 40. So nine and a half by 13 inches is the actual size for that. So it's a little small if you get, as you all know, if you get bigger, the um, the pictures look better. It's not as pixelated, but this one looks pretty good. I know he's got teeth, so the teeth looks like they're not going to be as defined as I would like. This one, this one has 21 colors. I really like the bright yellow, lots of pinks, purples in here. And the way the car is just not really super defined, but it's just kind of like the outline popping out of the black. I really like that and I like the purples in there. This one's going to be the same. It seems like it's going to have a nice bright background. And definitely his pants are all black. That's going to pop. His tie is going to pop. Some blues and stuff in here. His eye might pop pretty good. Let's, I'm not, I want to open these, but I'll take a look at some of the... This one's got 18 colors. They got the number. These ones don't have the DMC numbers on the packet, but got the nice number marked. I'm sure if you're anything like me, you like when they Ziploc these in individual packets. That way you can just use them and then put them back in, but that's kind of a waste if you think about it have all those plastics i mean this is going to be trash anyways but all i do is just cut the corner big enough so that i could use the funnel of my diamond painting thing to put them all back when i'm done and i'll just use a little piece of masking tape to hold it closed either that or I have other diamond paintings that came with extra bags and I'll just use those. I do have a couple like craft organizers where I put them all in. If I'm doing a big one, I'll put them all in and uh, just when I'm done, just pour it back into the little container. So anyways, it's got these nice greens, dark green here, beautiful turquoise. Lavender, 11, is like a dark purple, dark green. And of course it comes with our little basic set, little square wax tray and a pen. It doesn't have a multi-placer on the back. The car came with the same little beginner set 
If you guys are anything like me, I just toss this into a drawer. Or like if I'm traveling with it, like to a doctor's appointment or something like that, I'll I'll just bring this little beginner set up in just a one or two colors. That way I don't lose them or something. So over, I'm I'm really happy with the diamond paintings I got from Timu. I'll show you some of the other ones. Here's one of the, the biggest ones I've finished so far. It's tallest, but not as wide. It's, I think, 30 by 60. Almost from Amazon. I got this one at a garage sale. This was by Diamond Dots brand, I think. So this one came out really good cute nice canvas on it this is the biggest one I have it's a tattooed girl square drill I think it's one of the first square drills I had it's got a lot of potpourri in here this was really tough same thing here it's got blocks of colors where they're all the same. These are all X through here. X. And I've done checkerboard. but Because it's square. It seems easier to line them up. This one's 40 by 55. It's the biggest one that I've started. I'm taking just a little bit of time on it. And I get kind of worried. Because I'm afraid it's going to not be sticky. And this one's from Amazon. Oh no, I'm missing one. But I really like the way this one came out too. And being a guy. Being a guy, it's hard to find um, diamond paintings because most all the ones out there are like kittens or flowers or anything like that. So I try and find the ones that are more edgy, more for guys. So if you know of any sites for cheap to have good ones for guys, I like cars, female form is beautiful, anime, stuff like that, um, let me know down below in the comments. I'd really appreciate it. If you want to send some, if you have some that you don't like and you want to send them to me, I'll do them and I'll showcase them on the site. You can leave a comment down below and let me know. I'll give you my contact info to send it. I appreciate having you guys here along with me. And stay tuned for more videos about resale and other diamond paintings and stuff like that. And please do the YouTube things for me. Smash that like button, leave a comment, subscribe, share. Remember, if you're watching this video, you are special, you are worthy, and you cannot be replaced. See you on the next one. Peace out. GoPro, stop recording.